like, subscribe, subscribe, like. Nothing for you, everything for me. So like, subscribe, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, subscribe, like, or subscribe, like. <laughs>
from the Earth-facing hemisphere of the Sun, which produced significant aurorae, I guess that's pronounced, on the Earth three days later. In 2012, according to physicists, the chance of Earth being hit between 2012 and 2022 was 12%. Then, a massive and potentially damaging solar superstorm occurred but missed the Earth, although a CME did cause an aurora on the night of uh, September 3rd, uh, 2012. So, interesting. So now we'll get on with the rest of this and uh, see what I can tell you uh, with the cards. And I, uh, her question was, is would this uh, uh, cause, uh, uh, I suppose, a significant disruption to us? So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Carabillo cards. And I got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook. That, there, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and, and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The, um, I've not put them in the box well. The little dis, uh, combobulated here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of uh, a very uh, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you, you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. Okay, so we're going <clears> to <throat> draw cards on a phenomenon. And so when the sun sheds those uh, explosions and that uh, shocks through space and uh, interacts with our magnetic center, which seems to be off whack, um, and it's happened in 2012, and there's only a 12% chance of it happening between 12 and 22, 2012 and 2022. So, and her question is, uh, if this happens now, with our magnetic center being kind of out of whack, uh, is that going to cause major disruption on the planet? So that's what I understand the question to be. So we'll draw cards on that. Let's put the deck, okay, spread them out. I don't know what quite a question to ask. So is uh, the, if, if or is there going to be? Should we expect a significant CME uh, before 2022 for the first part of this? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's not good because if the answer is no, then I don't have a second part to follow up on. <laughs> we'll see. So, the signifier card for this read, okay, a Sander friend asks, um, uh, will we have a significant effect from CMEs um, now because of the uh, magnetic center? And I'm saying, will there be one? Ah, so this is interesting. So this is the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is wishes fulfilled. This is very interesting because it tugs me in two directions. Wishes fulfilled. I mean, the 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 um, side of me that wants wants to kind of know if something bad's going to happen. Uh, is that the wish being fulfilled, or is the wish being fulfilled? No, nothing's going to happen. And this card is described by this pack as a perfected success. So I'm going to say this is no. Wish is fulfilled. No, it's not going to happen. But let's see how the rest of this plays out. That's uh, challenged by, uh, let's see, this is the five, six, seven, eight, and this is uh, the eight of cups is walking away. Okay, walking, and there's the moon right there. Um, but we're not dealing with the moon, we're dealing with the sun, but still, you know, it's all about space. So... You know what I notice about this card too is this sun shining in here and this little fella really pointing up towards 
the sun is almost like an indication, you know, like, look, uh, it missed us. Uh, so there's that. Then the challenge to that is uh, walking away from something that's uh, emotionally uh, important. So, yeah, so that would be, you know, they say that these, this tide of the currents of the of outer space and the earth uh, challenges our emotions. So, yeah, so this would be walking away from an emotional, uh, valuable experience. So I would say that's a miss uh, of, of the CMA causing problem. The base of this reading, then, is um, pleasure. And so this is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, okay, I get it. This is Six of Cups is always remembering uh, how things uh, were. One, two, three, four, five, and six. How things were when things were good. And again, we have this almost corona around the head of this uh, woman who's comforting this child. And uh, yeah, so this looks like uh, uh, the basis of this is wanting things the way they were. And uh, maybe that's how they'll stay. The past of this reading then is, uh, look at that, all this moon stuff in this card. Of course, the, the deck is heaven and earth. But... Um, this is the moon card. This is secrets being revealed. And uh, so in the past, secrets were revealed. And uh, perhaps we knew enough, or we know enough now, to determine. And, and look at these little rays, these little dots, uh, kind of coming down into the earth. I guess you could say they were stars, but they don't quite look like stars, do they? So that's interesting in the past of this reading. And then the uh, sky for this reading, as to whether it'll happen, is the Queen of Wands. And uh, the Queen of Wands, I always tell you, is she is in charge of the plan. She's going to make sure things happen the way she wants it to happen. And so this is almost reminds me of the burning molten metal of the center of the earth. And she seems to be in control of that with these wands. And look at that again, this coronal kind of uh, presence uh, around her uh, crowned head. Interesting. Very interesting. So we'll slip that one in like that. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this then is uh, the King of Swords. And uh, the King of Swords is uh, uh, in charge of truth, uh, power, uh, rules. And uh, so I say this king, along with, um, I thought I had a queen down here. Yeah, right here. This queen uh, is going to make sure that things are happening in the way they should happen. And I have to tell you, honestly, I'm not sure how to carry on with the last part of this. Because this says no. You know, don't expect it. But uh, let's just play it out and see what happens. Uh, so, um, no, don't expect it. Uh, the self of this issue, the, the actual self of this issue, uh, which is a combination of coronal mass ejections and the magnetic core of the Earth being out of whack. Oh, look at this. So this is strife. Yep, that would be strife. Uh, the Five of Wands is um, things being out of whack, uh, being uh, uh, working in a way that they shouldn't, and, um, and kind of conflict with each other. And if you think about uh, the Earth sliding around on its melt molten core, uh, that certainly you know, would create all sorts of conflicts for the different uh, mantles inside there. So, okay, that might be a stretch, but that's kind of how to see the self of this issue. That's that's a, a kind of a perfect description of what this issue is about, at least the earthbound side of it. The uh, challenge to that, oh, let's see what that is. So the challenge to that ah, is the hermit. And so uh, what is the hermit? The hermit is uh, looking to see uh, what's ahead of you before you make the next step of your plan here, uh, being wise and uh, and knowledgeable and i suppose that's what we're doing we're looking into the darkness we're looking out into space and trying to determine uh if whatever might happen uh, does happen uh, how do we uh, dampen that uh the uh, hopes and the fears well let's see the hopes and the fears for all this is the princess of pentacles now the princess would be equal to a page so we would hope that this has very little value remember uh the you know the princess the knight the queen and the king and the, the princess or the is like the uh, page who has the very least uh power or say or or pull in that royal court and so we're just hoping the hopes and the fears is that this has very little actual value uh this issue and then the uh likely outcome of the whole thing we'll take it from right here is the knight of swords and that's uh, us charging in uh, uh, hoping that we have the knowledge to, uh, to control uh, anything that might uh, come our way. So, I don't know. That's how I see it. I think we'll leave it right there. Well, Sandra, friend, that was a, um, a strange uh, reading for me to embark on. But um, so we asked, uh, will CMEs in the Earth's uh, magnetic center cause a problem? And we came up with the Ten of Cups, which is perfect, uh, uh, what does it say? Perfect success. Perfect success, which it says to me, no, don't worry about it. How should I do this? I'll do it over here. Perfect success. Don't worry about it. And then um, the uh, challenge to that was the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from uh, uh, emotional uh, problems. And certainly that kind of current from the moon could be an emotional uh, 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 switching situation for us. Um, the um, past to that was actually the moon card, Secrets Being Revealed. And that's simply, I think, us uh, learning uh, more about our universe. And then the sky of that was the uh, Queen 
of swords and the queen of swords is you know I mean, this fire reminds me of the molten metal uh, center of the earth and uh, the corona around her head and the queen of uh, of, uh, wand, of of wands rather is completely in control of what's going to happen and uh, with the likely outcome of it being uh, the king of swords which is you know really uh, having the knowledge to make sure that we uh, look after our little kingdom and then the self of the whole thing was this uh, five of wands which is always uh, strife and and um, and conflict and uh, that's exactly what's going on through the center of the earth uh, naturally uh, the, it was in the environment of the hermit our learning the most that we can about our, our, our universe holding up the lamp to see um, you know as far out as we can and determine what we need to do uh, the hopes and the fears is that this princess of, of Pentacles shows up she's equivalent to a page which is a less valuable court so we hope that this is has very little uh, value in our uh, history and then the um, the likely outcome of the whole thing is we came back with a knight of swords this knight is as uh, traveling uh, forward with knowledge uh, to protect ourselves I think so that's how we'll leave it thanks Sandra that was cool I'm Mark my journey through tarot Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.